Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Finney, coming at you this Monday afternoon from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And it's a Monday, so it's a new trading session, the beginning of a new trading week. And so far, we've seen quite a ton of volatility in the stock markets where they're relatively flat. At the same time, a lot of focus is on this week because we have the Fed, we have a ton of earnings, and we also have the New York Mets in the World Series. So I've got to shake off all those nerves. You know how to do that because it's about that time. It's nearly 4 o'clock. The markets, they're about to close. Traders, they want to go home. It's happy hour here in the Big Apple. Now, U.S. stocks, they continue to trade lower this Monday afternoon right here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange in an attempt to maintain last week's solid gains as investors continue to prepare for yet another week of earnings and central bank announcements. But first, today's economic front saw September new home sales figures fall 11.5% to a near one-year low after two straight, month, uh, two straight months of gains. But a lot of focus is not even on today's trading session. The FOMC, the Federal Open Market Committee, kicks off its two-day meeting tomorrow and is scheduled to release its statement on Wednesday afternoon. All focus is on that this session. And when combined with the U.S. dollar mildly lower against its counterparts, crude oil futures down to $44 a barrel and gold futures last up just about $3.5. Then you have yourself a session to start off the new week where two stocks have declined for every advancer right here at the big board. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this first trading session of a brand new trading week. Corporate news, big news especially here at the New York Stock Exchange as the exchange's owner Intercontinental Exchange announced today that it will acquire Interactive Data Corporation for roughly $5.2 billion. And if you want more corporate news, check out the earlier Market Movers report with our very own Lelda Smith. And with that stated, kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning, which will be a very hectic one, especially for me. For ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinney.